The York Peninsula is approximately 200 kilometres away from Adelaide CBD. Largely an agricultural area, and also a coastal town with a lot of surfing beaches. My name is Steve Sturm and I'm the Application and Solutions Manager at Electronet. My name is Hugo Klingerberg, I'm the Senior Manager Network Development. Electronet is an electricity transmission provider for the state of South Australia. The York Peninsula is vulnerable to power outages because it has a single line. If that line has an outage, it means that the whole area that's supplied by that line would be affected by that outage. We need to have plans in place that the network can be ready for any future scenario that might face us. ARENA is the Australian Renewable Energy Agency. Their main aim is to help industry to get projects over the line that are not quite commercial yet. And the interest is to get more renewables onto the system. And ARENA was a big part in funding the battery project on the York Peninsula. With a battery online now, if there's an outage, the battery will take over supply. And with the wind farm connected, both the farmers, holiday makers and customers on the York Peninsula can be supplied for quite some time. ARENA is quite keen that whatever we learn on this project, that that gets shared with the wider industry. This platform enables users coming on from the public to be able to see how the battery is performing and also provide historical data reports of its usage. Electronet have been working on a number of projects with Empire in the past and when this opportunity came up we felt they were the right group to work with based on their agility and the constraints of the project. Empire brought technical skill sets to the room as well as CX design. As it was an agile project and had a tight timeline, we needed to identify issues early and work together to solve them appropriately. In developing the portal for the battery, there are probably two key challenges. One of the main priorities of developing the portal was taking extremely complex data from a SCADA system and making it user-friendly so everyone that looked at the portal understood the information displayed. And since we're tapping into operational SCADA data that has to be quite secure, how do we make sure that that's not compromised by putting some of the data online? Empire led the workshops that were held to develop this portal. I found those workshops very useful in trying to understand what I need as a user. The Microsoft Azure platform, along with EpiServer content management, enabled us to use their cloud services and deploy in a quicker manner and meet our tight timelines. There's been a lot of positive feedback internally from stakeholders on the portal and its deployment, which includes universities, governments and regulators. We found that the usage of the portal was quite high, which was encouraging. The information being collected on the portal is being shared internationally. There's interest from people all around the world on how it's being used in the performance. We see already the opportunities to create a similar portal for many of our other substations to create that same experience for a broader stakeholder group out there. Solutions like the Dalrymple portal would be good for the future of the electricity grid.